the day will come when we will name names other than Sean Combs, and there's a lot of names. Um, it's a long list already. I don't know that I could keep him off the stand. Uh, I, I think he is very eager to tell his story. So who was with you this weekend? A bunch of my friends. Diddy, Quincy, Justin Bieber. Oh, this party? I think half the people there were butt naked. You would have loved it. I get out too with a camera. The big can and like, yo, pup, I should document this shit, right? Yo, what's up, Playboy? It's not every day that the FBI leaks new names from their most wanted list. And guess what? Diddy has allegedly dropped the evidence that could turn Hollywood upside down. The day will come when we will name names other than Sean Combs. And there's a lot of names. Um, it's a long list already. You won't believe who's on this list. We're talking about major celebrities, political figures, and some of the most powerful people on the planet. I love Diddy. You know, he's a good friend of mine. He's a good guy. But how deep does this rabbit hole go? Did Diddy's freak off parties expose more than just secrets? And why are A-list stars scrambling to cover their tracks? I don't know that I could keep him off the stand. Uh, I, I think he is very eager to tell his story. How did this all start? What dirt does Diddy have on the most powerful people in entertainment? The FBI's most wanted list has always been a symbol of danger, but this time it's not just hardened criminals. They've allegedly added new names that are set to shock the public. Online users have leaked names connected to one of the biggest party scandals of the decade, thanks to none other than Sean Diddy Combs. And yes, we are talking about A-listers who never thought they'd be part of an FBI investigation. Who's the person that's number one on that invitation list? Leonardo DiCaprio. This all comes after Diddy provided key evidence related to his infamous freak-off parties, gatherings that were once whispered about, but are now front and center of a much larger legal battle. So what does this evidence mean? Who exactly is on the list? Let's start with Kim Kardashian, who, like many others in Hollywood, seems to be quietly stepping away from her past connections with Diddy. Right before the police raids on his lavish estates earlier this year, Kim subtly unfollowed him on social media, joining a growing list of celebrities distancing themselves from the music mogul amid the mounting allegations. It's a far cry from the days when Kim and her sisters were regulars at Diddy's legendary parties, mingling with the elite and enjoying the high life. Khloe Kardashian even spilled the beans about one particularly wild party from 2014 on Keeping Up With The Kardashians, where things reportedly got so out of control that guests were stripping down. So who was with you this weekend? A bunch of my friends. Diddy, Quincy, Justin Bieber. Oh, this party? I think half the people there were butt naked. You would have loved it. Then, in December 2019, Chloe posted a photo on Instagram with Kylie and Kim, all dressed to the nines at yet another one of Diddy's famous gatherings. She captioned it, Nothing like a Diddy party? Next on the list is Leonardo DiCaprio. While he's not the first celebrity to be linked to Diddy, his connection to the disgraced music mogul goes back decades, and it's certainly raising eyebrows now that Diddy's facing some serious accusations. Back in the late 90s and early 2000s, DiCaprio was a regular attendee at Diddy's infamous white parties. These exclusive, all-white dress code events were known for attracting Hollywood's elite, and DiCaprio was no exception. In fact, Daily Mail recently unearthed pictures from one of Diddy's white parties in 1998, showing DiCaprio laughing and smoking at Diddy's luxurious East Hampton home. Diddy had even dubbed DiCaprio the number one person on his guest list for these high-profile gatherings. This was revealed during a 2018 Vogue interview titled 73 Questions with Sean Diddy Combs, where Diddy gave the crew a tour of his home and opened up about his party days. When asked by the interviewer who his top guest was for the legendary white parties, Diddy didn't hesitate to respond, Leonardo DiCaprio further proving the actor's prominence in Diddy's inner circle. Who's the person that's number one on that invitation list? Leonardo DiCaprio. Diddy's white parties were nothing short of iconic, attracting A-listers from all over the entertainment world to his waterfront mansion during the summers. Photos from these parties, once seen as a symbol of Hollywood's glitz and glamour, are now resurfacing with a different perspective following Diddy's recent arrest. 
In one particular image from a 1997 white party, a young DiCaprio can be seen lounging in a white t-shirt and shorts, casually smoking a cigarette while Diddy, standing nearby, holds a bottle of champagne. These images have been making the rounds on social media as people revisit the star-studded gatherings in light of the ST-ficking allegations against Diddy, which include claims of him orchestrating freak-off orgies and exploiting women at his parties. Fast forward to December 2019, DiCaprio was once again spotted at one of Diddy's events, this time for the rapper's 50th birthday bash. DiCaprio was photographed dancing alongside Diddy, and while the two seemed to be enjoying themselves, it was one of the last times the actor was publicly seen with the music mogul. According to sources close to DiCaprio, he has not been in contact with Diddy for years, and he had no involvement in any of the more scandalous freak-off parties that have now come under investigation. The source emphasized that DiCaprio attended Diddy's early parties when they were more about networking and socializing, not the darker, more sinister events that Diddy is being accused of hosting. Leo has absolutely nothing to do with any of this, the source stated firmly, adding that while DiCaprio may have enjoyed the occasional Hollywood party in the early 2000s, he has since moved on from that phase of his life. They were big house parties, not freak-offs, the source clarified, the same source insisted that DiCaprio is fully focused on his career and personal life, and any suggestion that he's tied to Diddy's current legal troubles is purely speculative. Yet even DiCaprio's name couldn't completely avoid the shadow cast by another scandal, Jeffrey Epstein. Though the actor's connection to Epstein has never been directly proven, his name did come up in court documents. One of Epstein's accusers, Johanna Schoberg, mentioned DiCaprio in a deposition while describing her experiences with Epstein. She was asked if she had met DiCaprio or actress Kate Blanchett, to which she replied, I did not meet them, no. Schoberg went on to explain that Epstein would name drop celebrities like DiCaprio, Blanchett, and Bruce Willis during their interactions, often mentioning them while he was on the phone during massages. Schoberg clarified that while Epstein may have bragged about knowing these famous figures, she never personally encountered them. In any case, while DiCaprio's name has been linked to both Diddy and, to a lesser extent, Epstein, it's clear that he has tried to keep his distance from these scandals. His connection to Diddy appears to be more about attending high-profile parties in the past, long before the darker details of Diddy's private life came to light. As far as the current allegations go, sources close to the actor insist he's not involved and has been focused on his own career and relationship, staying far away from the controversies swirling around Diddy. Following Leonardo DiCaprio on the list is none other than Donald Trump. His connection to Diddy has also come under scrutiny, adding more fuel to the ongoing controversy surrounding the music mogul. A resurfaced clip from The Apprentice has recently gone viral, dragging Trump into the spotlight amid the accusations piling up against Diddy. In 2012, during an episode of the hit reality show, Trump casually praised Diddy, calling him a good guy, and even referring to him as a good friend. I love Diddy. You know, he's a good friend of mine. He's a good guy. The comment, which at the time seemed innocent enough, was directed at former Apprentice contestant Aubrey O'Day. But it was her response that left people curious. Rather than agreeing or expanding on Trump's remarks, O'Day gave a cryptic reply, I don't want to answer that question. It was clear that her hesitation carried weight, and now, in light of everything going on with Diddy, that moment has taken on a much darker tone. O'Day's reluctance to speak about Diddy on national TV isn't surprising, considering her own rocky history with the music mogul. As a former member of Danity Kane, a girl group Diddy created through his show Making the Band, O'Day experienced firsthand the pressures and demands he placed on his artists. In 2008, she left the group, and over the years, she's hinted that her departure was due to more than just creative differences. In a 2022 interview on the Call Her Daddy podcast, she admitted that walking away from Danity Kane was about not being willing to meet certain expectations. I wasn't willing to uh, do what was expected of me. Mm. Not talent-wise, but in other areas. Her brief but telling exchange has now become a symbol of those unspoken issues. It suggests that O'Day had knowledge of Diddy's problematic behavior long before it became public. Over the years, she has remained outspoken about Diddy's treatment of women, especially in the wake of serious accusations from his ex-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura. Moving on, we have Jamie Foxx, an A-list actor known for his larger-than-life personality. Jamie Foxx has long been a guest at Diddy's infamous parties, events that have been the subject of wild rumors for years. 
Some say these parties weren't just about music and fun, they were far more sinister. For those in the know, Diddy's lavish lifestyle comes with a price. Many celebrities who have attended these gatherings often left with more than just memories. Insiders have whispered for years that Diddy exerts control over those closest to him, either through blackmail, influence, or worse. And Jamie Foxx? Well, he was one of Diddy's frequent guests, which made people wonder what exactly was going on behind closed doors. In fact, there was a time when Diddy allegedly forced Jamie Foxx to play a game of naked basketball. Yes, you heard that right, naked basketball. Diddy, known for his wild parties and larger-than-life personality, supposedly came up with this crazy idea to break the ice and make the night unforgettable. If you want to know, like, who was probably at these games, just look at, like, who P. Diddy and Jamie Foxx have been hanging around for years, especially the, like, the super successful ones. Now, can you imagine being at that party? Talk about taking things to a whole new level. Say what you will, but Diddy certainly knows how to throw an unforgettable bash. The big question, though, is, did Jamie Foxx actually go through with it? Well, it seems that Jamie was a good sport and didn't shy away from the challenge. He embraced the moment and jumped right into the game of naked basketball. He would invite over a lot of, like, Hollywood's elite to his house for a basketball game, but it was men only. Wow, that's definitely pushing boundaries and stepping way out of your comfort zone. But hey, when you're with Diddy and other A-listers, anything can happen, right? But here's the thing, this wasn't Jamie's first time at one of Diddy's infamous parties. In fact, an old clip of Jamie Foxx revealing shocking details from one of Diddy's creepy parties resurfaced online last year. It's a big cannon, like, yo, pup, I should document this shit, right? <laughs> Yo, what's up, Playboy? <laughs> what, what, what you talking about? I said, no, no, I should get this, man. You, Fonz, were the whole nine. He says, uh, yeah, let him through. Back in the early days of Jamie's entertainment career, when he was still trying to break into the music industry, he attended one of Diddy's exclusive parties in Beverly Hills. Jamie, always sharp, brought a camera along, hoping to document the night. And when he asked Diddy for permission to film, Diddy was all for it. You spent a million and a half dollars on this party? I said, you come to my house. <laughs> I'll throw you a party for $400, and it will rival this, not in scale. This wasn't just any party. It cost a jaw-dropping $1.5 million, with a guest list full of A-list celebrities arriving in luxury cars. Jamie followed Diddy into the lavish pool party, and the first person his camera caught was none other than Dr. Ruth, the famous Hollywood therapist. Sensing a golden moment, Jamie got Dr. Ruth to have a spontaneous conversation with Diddy, right on camera. And then, out of nowhere, Dr. Ruth and Diddy hit the dance floor by the pool, vibing to Beyonce's crazy in love. The scene was electric, the crowd loving it. And even Jamie Foxx gave a nod to the energy and spirit of the night while honoring the late Heavy D. Jamie wasn't just a guest, though. He took on the role of teaching Diddy how to party on a budget. His stories about showing Diddy how to throw an amazing party without spending a fortune have become legendary. In fact, Jamie even shared the story on The Colbert Show, reminiscing about how he turned Diddy into a thrifty party pro. But aside from teaching Diddy how to party on a budget, Jamie also revealed that Diddy's parties were the craziest he had ever been to. These parties were more than just expensive. They were also a hotbed of unusual behavior, seemingly orchestrated by Diddy to fulfill his S fantasies. Jennifer Lopez, who has a history with Diddy dating back to their high-profile romance in the late 90s, finds herself in the middle of these allegations as well. In a recent episode of his podcast, Collect Calls with Shug Knight, the former Death Row CEO made a series of explosive claims, suggesting a bizarre connection between the FBI, Jennifer Lopez, and her estranged husband, Ben Affleck. Knight alleged that the FBI handed over tapes incriminating Lopez that were recovered from raids on Diddy's homes in Miami and Los Angeles to Affleck. A naked Jennifer Lopez video somewhere. Everybody says you've got it and you want to sell it on the internet. Have you seen it? Have I seen it? <laughs> I don't know if I'm smiling like I've seen it. Knight says the content on the tapes is potentially causing a rift in Affleck's marriage with Lopez. They go raid Puffy's house and they get all these videos of J-Lo doing this and J-Lo doing that, Knight started off. Knight rehashed the infamous nightclub shooting incident in 1999 that involved Lopez and Diddy, using it as a reference point to illustrate the erosion of J-Lo's credibility. And they know the fact that J-Lo lied and said that the gun was Shines or whatever and sent that man to prison, destroyed his life, and she knew it was Puffy's, he said. He further insinuated that the FBI decided to notify Affleck about the discovery of the alleged tapes due to the potential impact they could cause should they go public. 
much like the fallout from Diddy's 2016 hotel assault tape on his ex-girlfriend Cassie. In any case, a source told Daily Mail that Lopez feels disturbed by the current allegations against Sean P. Diddy Combs. Not that people forget, but her relationship with him several years ago had its tumultuous ups and downs, the source said. What he has done and what he has been accused of is heartbreaking. It is disgusting for her to see that someone, who at one point in her life was someone she put so much trust in, has ended up turning into a very damaged human being. It is disturbing to see. You see, Jennifer Lopez and Sean P. Diddy Combs have a history. They met on the set of her music video for If You Had My Love in 1999, before splitting in 2001 amid rumors Diddy, then known as Puff Daddy, had been unfaithful, something Lopez later confirmed. The pair were arrested soon after they started dating following a shooting at a Times Square nightclub in December 1999 that left three people injured. Lopez was released from custody without being charged after 14 hours in jail, while Diddy later walked free after a seven-week trial which saw his protege Jamel Shine Barrow, long suspected to be the fall guy, convicted and sentenced to 10 years. In a candid interview with British Ellie in July 2000, Lopez opened up about a harrowing experience that shook her world, describing it as a complete nightmare. Obviously, nobody really wants to be arrested <laughs> or handcuffed or, you know, go through all that kind of stuff. It's a really traumatic experience. The aftermath of the shooting incident was not confined to emotional scars alone. Legal battles ensued, amplifying the complexities of an already distressing situation. Notably, in 2008, a staggering lawsuit amounting to $130 million was filed against Combs by one of the victims, seeking reparation for the damages incurred during the incident. Eventually, in 2011, Combs reached a settlement with all three individuals, including the victim, the terms of which were kept confidential. Next up is Cuba Gooding Jr., an Oscar-winning actor with a history of off-screen controversies. Recently, new allegations have surfaced, this time connected to Diddy's former producer, Rodney Jones Jr., also known as Lil Rod. In a 70-page lawsuit filed in February, Jones claims that working for Diddy wasn't just about music. He alleges being forced into inappropriate situations, including intimate activities with prostitutes, and claims Diddy made unwanted advances towards him. Jones's lawsuit paints a disturbing picture of the music industry, filled with dark rituals and manipulation. According to Jones, Diddy tried to pressure him into a homosexual relationship, something Jones says is is common within certain industry circles. But what's really shocking is the mention of Cuba Gooding Jr. in the lawsuit. Jones alleges that Gooding also subjected him to unwanted touching, including fondling his legs, back, and shoulders. Usher is another celebrity who has allegedly been caught in these tapes too. Back in the day, Usher was just a fresh-faced kid when he signed with LaFace Records, and who do you think took him under his wing? None other than P. Diddy. Sounds like a fairy tale, right? Well, hold on to your hats because this mentorship story might have some surprising twists. In a rather cringeworthy interview with Kevin Hart, Diddy let slip that he and Usher used to wake up in the same bed. It's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, just out. I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother. Talk about awkward. It seems that their relationship was a lot more complicated than simply mentor and mentee. Rumor has it that a 14-year-old usher followed Diddy to New York City, where things at Diddy's place got pretty interesting. What kind of mentoring were they really engaging in? It's clear that their bond extended beyond just making hit records. There's even a video of the two together that has been making waves online. Trust me, you'll want to check it out. That's merely Diddy getting Usher fired up for his upcoming show. What he has to say after that is telling. Fly ass motherfucker. How the fuck you in the kitchen? Eating all my cereal. Usher has remained relatively silent regarding the events of his time spent learning from Diddy, despite widespread suspicion. Usher gave us a taste of what we've been yearning for during a spicy chat with the one and only Howard Stern. Lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. In the 90s, do you understand what that's like? It was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. There were very curious things taking place. Uh-huh. And I didn't necessarily understand. Even though he didn't reveal everything, 
everything, Usher gave a lot of hints about how close he and Diddy were. Let's just say there was a lot of mentoring going on and it wasn't limited to the realm of music. Usher's mother apparently didn't find out about the kid drinking champagne in the VIP with Diddy until after his album came out. And can you figure out which kid it was? Yes, the one and only Usher. The thing is, Usher hasn't really come out and spilled the tea about what happened between him and Diddy. However, he did reveal that he witnessed some dubious activities at Diddy's house. Usher also hinted at his history with Diddy and his admiration for him when on the cover of Essence magazine. Something that you should know about me is that I'm a businessman before I'm anything else, Usher revealed. Look at the capabilities of Martha Stewart or Russell Simmons or Sean Puffy Combs or even 50 Cent with G-Unit. Look at what they did with their licensing. This is my opportunity to do the same. Clothing and shoes are kind of the standard nowadays, so I'm trying to figure out how I can come at it from a different angle. Watches, clothes, perfume, cologne, facial, and acne products. There are so many possibilities. The interview was going well until Howard Stern brought up the obvious topic of Usher's time spent in Diddy's house. When that happened, things started to get exciting. Despite all the talk, Usher has gone radio silent on his history with Diddy. The normally chatty Usher was as quiet as a Hollywood actress on the red carpet. In his words, I want to save some ish for my book one day, he said. I'll put it this way, there was a lot of S. In any case, it's clear that Diddy knows more than he's letting on. As someone who's been at the top of the music industry for decades, he's seen it all. But why is he now choosing to cooperate with the FBI? Is this a power play? Or is Diddy trying to avoid legal trouble himself? Some sources claim that Diddy's cooperation is part of a larger deal to avoid prosecution for his own involvement in illegal activities. But others suggest that Diddy is using his connections to take down rivals in the industry. Whatever the case, one thing is for sure. Diddy holds the keys to some of Hollywood's darkest secrets. The FBI is reportedly investigating everything from tax evasion to drug trafficking, and it's possible that Diddy's evidence could bring down some of the biggest names in entertainment. But the question remains, what will happen when the truth comes out? As the investigation intensifies, more names are expected to be revealed. The fallout from this could be catastrophic for those involved, careers could be ruined, reputations destroyed, and legal consequences could follow. Anyway, that's it for this video, folks. Bye.